Hi, my name is Nick. I'm the head roaster at The Grounds. This is my tutorial on how to make cafe quality coffee at home. Number one, start with a big basket. I'm using a 22 gram basket today. That's gonna help me get more coffee inside the basket and essentially get more flavor, make a nicer coffee. Tip number two, filtered water, a water filter at home in your kitchen, that's perfect. You can use that for your espresso machine. Filtered water will help a little bit with uh, the scale, but mostly filtered water is gonna help a lot with the flavor and extraction of the espresso itself. Tip number three, I would say quality coffee to, of course, brew with. We've got the bean stalker, which has been specifically developed for majority milk-based coffees. On the other hand, we've got the Hundley Street, which is great for both milk and espresso. It's slightly lighter. This coffee is very personal, so um, it's kind of really up to you what, what you enjoy. Let's start. Grab our porter filter and scales. A decent grinder is really good. This grinder is a Breville grinder. It's really important to grind fresh for every coffee that you make. I don't really recommend to buy your coffee and just grind the whole kilo. It doesn't store well. It oxidizes quickly. Here I've got the porter filter on a scale. I'm going to tar the scale. So it's set at zero and I'm going to weigh the coffee that's going inside the porter filter. Today I'm using the bean stalker blend. That's our house blend in our cafes. I recommend a recipe of 23 grams in, 35 grams out over 31 seconds. It's okay if you don't have a scale at home. You can just grind the coffee and just flatten it. Once we've got the desired amount, I'm gonna just distribute the coffee evenly across the basket. I get my finger and I just groom the coffee. This is called grooming and collapse. You can just collapse on your bench or Next step would be to tan. The way to hold the tan would just be between your thumb and forefinger. Tamping is actually really important. The surface needs to be polished, but essentially we want to have the hot water go through evenly, the coffee extract evenly. I don't want any cracks, I don't want the water to go down any holes or anything like that, imperfections in the puck, because uh, this is going to create what's called channeling and uh, uneven extraction. Water filter on the bench and then press down gently to begin with, nice and level. Little spin, so the coffee sits nice and flat and level. Then I'm gonna flush the group head a little bit before I start brewing. Today I'll make a strong flat white. So I'm gonna tar my cup on the scales because I wanna measure the yield of espresso. If you ever wanna check any of the recipes, they're uploaded to our website. So I'm going to lock in the porter filter into the machine, place my cup underneath and I'll start the manual pour. Time your shots around 30 seconds. As the shots are pouring, you'll see they look thick and dark and beautiful. It should come out looking very rich, like honey, straight, straight lines is good. As the extraction is progressing, when it gets super light, that's the time to end the espresso. So now I'm going to start steaming milk once I'm happy with my espresso. I'm just going to pour the milk to, I don't know, about halfway up the jug, just underneath the, the grooves of this spout. I'm going to purge the steam wand just to get rid of any excess water. Place the steam wand inside the jug, resting inside that little groove. And then I place the steam wand just under slightly the surface of the milk and activate the steam wand. I'm looking for just a little bit of a... Well, that sound really. It's kind of like... And then I just push the wand under the surface a little bit more and just get like a spinning. Whilst the milk's spinning around, I'll rest my finger on the side of the jug to just feel the temperature. And when the temperature gets a little bit too hot to touch, I'll wait one second and then just turn it off. I'll wipe the steam tip and purge again. Done. I'll grab this jug and pour it into a larger jug if you have it. If you don't have it, that's fine. 
and then I can start to think about some pretty latte art and then I'm gonna start pouring. When I pour I just mix the coffee around mixing the crema up and then I float the milk and pour. There's a strong flat white which I'm going to enjoy. <laughs> so we work pretty hard on these coffees to get them tasting the best that they can for this specific brew method. Tip number four is smile. <laughs> so that's my quick home tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. You can find the coffees online, head to the website and also the brew guides are up there as well. Thank you.